Welcome back to Gaming for a Fistle Use Only. For this installment, I thought I'd go down a different road. Whenever most people think of conspiracy theories, their first thought drifts towards a, towards a nebulous group with evil purposes such as world domination, destruction of the lower classes, or keeping Justin Bieber famous. Now this isn't a knock on the thinking of most people, though I do that on most other things, just not this, but on how most media sticks to the tried and true tropes for whatever they're working with. However, there are benevolent or even good conspiracy theories that exist. Let's look at one of the finest gaming franchises, XCOM. In this modern series, you play the commander of a multinational conspiracy that aims to stop the alien invasion from destroying mankind, while also keeping the populace completely unaware that there is a freaking war going on. Instead of being this dark figure who aims to control the information flow to control the planet, you're a military officer who just wants to make sure mankind survives. Now, the figures who give you orders are shadowed, never have their identities revealed, but they aren't evil. In fact, most of the time they praise you when you do well and get angry when you start screwing up left and right. I'm okay with this as it means you aren't letting aliens kill citizens. I would say that pissed me right the hell off as well. What's interesting is that XCOM is one of the very few multinational groups that gains something from each nationality. The beginning bonus you get varies depending upon where you decide to actually base your XCOM headquarters as well as gaining different bonuses for adding higher levels of security to the various countries. This involves using secret spy satellites along with high-tech interceptor planes to stop UFO activities. Everything that you do is used in some way to actually protect the people of Earth from the alien attackers, not just control the people or keep them in the dark. This is rare for any conspiracy, let alone government. While XCOM certainly does cover up the existence of aliens and their outright war upon humanity, they never once sacrifice innocent people to keep the cover-up going. In fact, many missions feature your soldiers going out of their way to save civilians caught in the crossfire, escorting them to safety so that the aliens cannot get their hands on them. Sure, the cynical among us, and I say this as a devout cynic, would say that XCOM merely does so to prevent the aliens from using civilians to learn more about mankind or whatever, but the fact is XCOM does save the innocents from aliens, and in the end there's nothing sinister about that. One thing that XCOM does possess that differentiates it from the national militaries that are ostensibly involved in stopping the invasion is their technology. Since XCOM soldiers are battling aliens day in and day out, they can recover pieces of alien technology and even biology, which they pass on to XCOM's extensive scientific facilities. These facilities include department heads who are apparently higher ranked in the fields of engineering and physics. This team that forwards XCOM bleeding edge technology like fusion reactors, lightweight and incredibly strong armor materials, and of course, since it's science fiction and there's aliens to kill, powered armor. While normal soldiers must be content with standard firearms, XCOM soldiers will end up being issued laser and plasma weaponry to deal with much more deadly foes. As XCOM does more research, they eventually develop quite an inventory of things like UFO flight computers and alien metals, which then you can release through the gray market to the various nations that you see fit for extra cash. Sometimes these nations may even ask you for amounts of certain things like XCOM's advanced medikits or lightweight armor to help deal with various crises. So even though XCOM is working to keep the public ignorant of the alien menace, they slip helpful new tech into circulation to slowly advance humanity to prepare for stronger threats. A group with access to much higher, no pun intended, stores of technology and knowledge more than the rest of mankind and who only wish to protect and enhance them actually leads perfectly to our real life conspiracy theory, the Nine Unknown Men. This theory comes out of ancient India of all places. In 260 BC, the land was ruled by the Emperor Ashoka Maurya, who will go down in history as Ashoka the Great. His grandfather, Chandragupta, had first united India under his one rule in 322 BC. Ashoka later became well known and beloved for his dedication to the well-being of his subjects as being one of the very first enlightened rulers. He wrote often of the duties that rulers owed to their citizens, often calling them his children. However, Ashoka would have to go through a bloody road to Damascus moment before he became the pillar of enlightenment he is so well regarded for today. In 260 BC, he was waging a bitter war against the state of Kalinga which is the modern-day Indian East Coast. His forebears had often tried to subdue the warlike province and only Ashoka succeeded, although at a very terrible cost. While overseeing the battles, he grappled with the rumored 100,000 plus deaths and hundreds of thousands of civilians forced in their homes. These horrible events compelled him to seek a better way, which he found then through the teachings of Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha. Converting to Buddhism, Ashoka dedicated himself to helping his fellow man anywhere he could. This is the undisputed history. What is disputable is that having seen what happens when the intelligence of man is set to evil desires, Ashoka determined that mankind's intellect should be aimed at noble goal. He named nine men of learning to head up the development of nine books. These men would research the darkest ends of human thought so as a catalog and conceal the worst out. Each man would dedicate himself to secrecy so that mankind wouldn't learn the terrible secrets the depths of otherwise noble studies. I'll list the subject of each book and what terrible secrets the unknown men sought to conceal from the populace. Book 1. 
propaganda and psychological warfare. We don't think much of propaganda nowadays since we are supposedly immune to its charms, but the book contains the secrets of total psycho by which the thoughts of anyone can be controlled with no concern for failure. Do I actually need to point out what this doesn't need to get out? Book 2. Physiology. The study of how the human body works is one of the more noble and useful pursuits. While it has mostly led to amazing advances in medical science to the point of doubling the life expectancy of Ashoka's time, this book contains knowledge from the opposite direction. Supposedly this book contains the most undetectable and deadly poisons, pressure point techniques, and of course the legendary martial arts technique of the touch of death. That's right, it's not just for shitty kung fu flicks. Book 3, Biology and Biotechnology. The study of microbial life and disease has also greatly advanced our medical science and we've even cured some of the most infamous mass murders such as smallpox. However, this book not only contains all the horrifying diseases that could wipe us out, but also the invention of miracle cures and beneficial microbes. More on this a bit later. Book 4, Alchemy. Alchemy was the ancient study of the universe that blended science and magic and could honestly be a video of its own. This in turn led to the development of the actual science of chemistry. The alchemist's primary goal was the discovery of the Philosopher's Stone, which would transmute cheap metals like lead into gold. Supposedly this book features the myth to do so. Now the funny thing is, modern nuclear science is shown by simply altering the number of protons and electrons, and now an element can be transmuted, which makes it a physical possibility, but right now it's not economically feasible to do so. Book 5, Communications. Well, this subject's pretty obvious. Supposedly the book contained the true secrets of easy communications of all kinds, but the main subject the conspiracy theorists really latch onto, like a face hugger pump full of Spanish fly, is the rumor that this book includes instructions on communicating with extraterrestrial intelligence. Book 6, Gravitation. A famous component of many Hindu legends is that of vehicles called Vimana, which are apparently powered by anti-gravity devices. A staggering amount of conspiracy theory literature is based around the idea that such vehicles actually exist or do still exist. This book supposedly details the finer points of Vimana construction operation. The fact that no true anti-gravity device currently exists today will show just how advanced such a vehicle would be. Book 7, Cosmology. Here's another crazy one. This book supposedly details the fabric of the cosmos along with the secrets of how to traverse huge distances, in other words, fashion light travel. Now, with the exception of wormholes and the Occupy Air Drive, there's not really much more in science that details FTL travel. But this book goes even further than FTL travel by including instructions on time travel and between parallel dimensions. Such a tome would just about rewrite modern physics from the ground up. Book 8, Light. Before the aforementioned FTL travel, this book also includes how to speed up and slow down the speed of light. Now, light is the fastest object in the universe by modern physics, traveling at a constant 186,000 miles per second in a vacuum. Besides screwing with light's accelerometer, this book details using light as a directed weapon and how to control its reflection. We can somewhat direct light how we want to, which we call a laser. However, the feat of making visible things invisible would be a terrific feat of engineering, one that we can just barely do now with the current technology. And book 9, Sociology. This is the big one. Supposedly, this book contains the rules of social engineering that would allow groups to completely control the evolution of forms of society. Now, science fiction fans like me will note a striking similarity of the psychohistory created by Harry Seldon and predict the fall of the Galactic Empire in Isaac Asimov's absolutely classic Foundation series. Now, in the hands of any other group, the collection or holding of such knowledge would be seen as at best sinister and at worst outright evil. But Ashoka had a totally different idea for his men. They would be dedicated scholars who would research what could not be researched. This would be a way of not only keeping the evil that could arise from such knowledge away from mankind, but also guarding the good that came out of it in case society would ever fall. They would watch as the various nations of mankind arose and fell, always ready to aid if needed, but never directed mankind's development. They would, however, release bits and pieces of their accumulated knowledge to help the rest of the planet in secret. In contrast to Ashoka, XCOM releases their tech to the various nations so the defense forces would actually be strengthened, while the nine unknown men released their secrets to the public. In India, the Ganges River is a holy river that supposedly has the ability to heal the sick. This has been known for centuries, but only recently does science explain the otherwise miraculous ability. The river waters harbor a bacteriophage that destroys many types of dangerous diseases. It was this bacteriophage that was supposedly released into the waters by the unknown men to help the poor, who often brought their alien loved ones to the holy river when there were no other options. See Seeing that citizens need to be able to defend themselves from those who aim to harm them, the unknown men use their knowledge of physiology to construct one of the most useful and effective martial arts known to man. Judo. And that's what fascinates me so much about this rarely talked about theory. We have this conclave of brilliant minds who have no allegiance to country or nationality, but only to mankind itself. They research paths of thinking that the rest of the planet should never venture down, yet are never represented as anything more sinister than simply somewhat aloof compared to the rest of humanity. In nearly any fiction, a group with the kind of technology and knowledge that the unknown men possess will be seen as some horrifying evil, the ultimate expression of intellect unchained from duty or morality. Instead, the unknown men are a bulwark of knowledge in the event of the fall of mankind 
mind, and the safe place to store the knowledge that mankind does not need yet possess. Again, this ties perfectly into XCOM. In many stories, the supernatural group that hides the existence of alien reverse engineers of technology and fights them be seen as sinister. Instead, they are a force for good who shield mankind from an alien invasion. While they do keep the populace unaware for their own good, they fight for mankind not simply in mankind's name. They release higher tech as they can while hiding away the darker tech the aliens possess. The fact that XCOM answers to a multinational council of authority figures makes me wonder even further. Could XCOM actually be the unknown man of the future? Fighting a war against extraterrestrials for mankind because no one else could? Well, that'd be straining the theory part of conspiracy theory even further than the insane logic most conspiracy theories are to utilize. It's a fun thing to think about. Hope this video has been entertaining and made you think. While I don't personally believe this theory, as always, there's no concrete evidence. Carl Sagan made the legendary claim that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and it's not even ordinary proof the unknown may exist. However, I love reading about this conspiracy because it actually shows you can hide in the shadows without being evil. Not all nebulous groups have to do harm. As always, feel free to comment below or catch me on Twitter at I think I Broken. And as always, thanks for watching.